so hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and to my floor at the moment today is 4th of july and i am just in the mood of putting makeup on and um yeah that's what we are doing today it's a get ready with me video so i hope you enjoy it um we'll just chat get ready i'll tell you about the items that i've been loving so far that i've been enjoying and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get started okay so i already have moisturizer slash spf on and i actually have been um using this a perfect world spf 40 by origins i bought it not too long ago and it's very thick looks like this um it's not tinted but it is very thick so if i'm not going anywhere i mean i'm enjoying it if you have oily skin i would not recommend it just because it's so thick and oily and as a daily moisturizer it might be a little too much but i like it so far and it hasn't been breaking me out so that's great i'm gonna go ahead and put some primer on just because I feel like I haven't put primer in a while. For the primer, I'll be using this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And um, a lot of people actually do like this primer. I'm, I just tried a tiny bit of it. It looks like this. Um, yeah, like I said, a lot of people will enjoy this primer. I um, am not sure. I haven't really tried it that much me to actually have an opinion for me primers are I don't know not something necessary I rarely actually use primer but because I do have some primers so I tend to just use it because I have it as opposed to realizing how how beneficial it is to you know my makeup I don't know I haven't really seen much with primers Maybe it's just me. I don't know. This primer is nice. It feels a little moisturizing. It's not sticky. It supposed I think it's supposed to actually smooth your face. Smooth your skin. Um, I forgot my mirror, so I'll be right back. My skin hasn't been doing my, a very good lately. And that has a lot to do with the fact that when I work, I have a mask on so that's eight hours of having a mask on your face and you know when you go out that mask really is not helping my skin and my acne and all of that so that might be why I'm I, I've been having some skin issues but I don't know the face seems nice and ready to put foundation on and for foundation um gonna use the same foundation that I always use the product keeps coming out so I feel like there's still a lot it looks like it's empty but there's plenty of product so I'm just gonna keep using this one till I'm um, till I'm done but I feel like this is perfect and um, that's something that I would definitely repurchase the Misha BB cream and if you've seen any of my videos then you probably know that Misha BB cream is just some some of my favorite creams and just my go-to foundation go-to foundation that's it I can't say anything else it's just something that I always wear so a little chat how is your 2020 going so far It's split, I'm speechless. Uh, 2020 has been a crazy year so far. Just if it's not something, it's something else. Like COVID. I don't know. I I feel like I'm just I'm so ready for everything to go back to normal. And it's not even back to normal. I want it to be better. So I want people to focus on positivity and focus on good stuff and not hate and also open your heart open your heart open your mind and and just try to see best 
and I'm trying to try to be the best version of yourself and I know it's like it's easy to say it's harder to do we all have emotions and I think what people need to understand is if you don't start a change if you don't change within you can change anything else it the change the change starts from you it doesn't start individually it doesn't start from a fight or canceling somebody or doing stuff like that like that's all just negativity that's that does not bring anything good into your life surround yourself with goodness that's it and I know in 2020 I feel like it's it's hard to surround yourself with anything but the TV because we're all quarantined we're self quarantined or where I actually had to quarantine myself um, because I've been having some symptoms and this past week I've been just sitting home and um, let me tell you I am not a home person I need to do stuff I need to get out of the house uh, in order for me as a human being to function uh, I need to, to have something to look forward to and even if it's that you know go into a store or go into park to a park I love parks or having little mini weekend tri trips you know I love those I'm definitely not a stay in house kind of person you know I do love staying at home but as my always stay at home like this week has been um harder a little harder on me but and you know when you put on a video and I'm, I'm a huge youtube watcher and all you see is just negativity or if you like open facebook all you see is people fighting you know comments and people are so ready to to fight and not listen to each other it does not put us in any kind of good mood so that's why my little rant for today's video i guess just be kinder if if you really hate that person or if you just don't don't watch it don't watch them don't comment like i said surround yourself with the people that you like um for concealer i'm just gonna use as always um the cover girl i told you guys what i think about this concealer it's it's fine but it's definitely not my go-to wouldn't be my go-to i would not repurchase this concealer it's just so thick and it doesn't blend quite that nicely okay so it was getting dark outside well it's not really dark but a little darker in here so i hooked out my ring light and i hope there's not too much glare in my glasses because well i have contacts but they're like three years they're two years old um so the prescription is not quite as strong so if i wear them i'm blind and uh, i would rather not be blind no news what i'm setting my under eye with it's the air spun and honestly it kind of sounds like i'm gonna be using this for a while just because you get a lot and i'm i'm really not trying to be wasteful so i am trying to use whatever i do have so i'm not gonna buy any other setting powder till i finish this so if you're gonna be watching any of my makeup videos make up get ready with, with me as my setting powder it always probably will be this one so just a warning all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put some eyeshadow primer just because i'm in the mood of some eyeshadow look some sort of eyeshadow look so we'll see um the only eyeshadow primer that i have is this one which is the milani eyeshadow primer 
and um yeah we're just gonna put this one do i like absolutely think you need an eyeshadow primer um no but sometimes because you can just um use your concealer as eyeshadow primer call it a day i think i always put too much eyeshadow primer for some reason it's like a curse And I still have a lot, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and whoop up this one, the Tati Beauty. And did I tell you guys how much I love the mirror in here? Well, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and set my eye primer. And I'll just take a brush. Just gonna take Aura, which is the lightest and kind of dust it all over just to set my eye and I think when I want to do a cool look I don't think I'm gonna do that much though I'm gonna do this the soothe and kind of put it in my crease All right, then I'm gonna have to find a smaller brush. So with a smaller brush, I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna go into Poet just because I, I don't think I've ever done something like this. And I'm just gonna put it out a corner and kinda try to blend it because I'm not trying to do any like sort of smoky eye or anything like that. But I do wanna have some sort of interesting definition and um yeah i am just gonna try to do that and try not to look like a clown because while i love makeup i'm definitely not a makeup artist or not even good at makeup so you know just some makeup fun here just because at the end of the day it is only makeup and you do what makes you happy, so get to enjoy what you get to enjoy. Okay, I don't think it's bad actually. And I think as a shimmer, I'm gonna use that hourglass eyeshadow that I have. It's very cute and sparkly, but also almost like natural. All right, it's kind of hard to do this without glasses just because I have no idea how I look. I think is one is blended better than the other one. Yeah, definitely lately. So we'll just do that. Uh, uh, more small color in one than in the other one. See if only I was good at makeup. What do you mean? So much nicer. All right, I'll go back into Soothe and try to kind of get a different color in the inner corners. Just cause I'm trying to go to a completely pink look. Let's just go ahead and move on. And hopefully this is gonna help out. We'll be using this Hourglass Glitter Eyeshadow and Reflect. I do really actually like this eyeshadow, so just let's put that on and we'll see how it looks. Alright, you guys tell me. I feel like it's not quite my best look, but... <clears throat> good enough now I'm gonna go ahead and line because why not just go all the way in? okay so I'm gonna say one thing thank God for glasses because I have this Stila and it's half dried out so it needs to go you'll see it in my empties but a half dried out eyeliner and and not good skills at lining my eyes duo it's not the best so I'm not even gonna show you the farther I go probably the better anyways mascara I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one and it's the Lash Paradise 
by Essence. Uh, it's Lash Princess by Essence. And um, well, lots of people love Essence mascaras, so I bought like a set of three different ones, Lash Princesses. And um, I must say, I'm not impressed. I don't know how I got this. We'll wait for this spot to dry before we move it. All right, time to contour. Well, I'm not contouring, but I am putting some bronzer on. And uh, this is it. Uh, butter bronzer, Physicians Formula. And I told you guys that I am focusing on finishing the stuff that I do have. So as tempting as buying a new bronzer seems like i really don't need one and in order for me to buy anything else i put a rule i'm not buying i'm not buying anything else till i finish at least one bronzer and at the moment i have three bronzers bronzers i have this one i have the two faced which is i love too and I have the hourglass one. It's a little smudged, sorry. Um, but this said it has the bronzer here, so I really don't need a different bronzer. But on my list, and what I do want to buy is the Milk Cosmetics bronzer and is the stick bronzer. Yeah, so what, the bronzer that I do want to try a lot is the Milk Cosmetics Cream Bronzer. It's in the stick form and I just heard so many good things about the, the bronzer. And that's one thing that I want. But I'm also holding on to it just because I don't, I don't need it. And uh, yeah, if I end up finishing the bronzer that I have. I will end up buying that and I won't be buying the full size I think for full size like 28 I will buy the small one it's 15 which is cheaper and I really don't need a, a big size of it just because I don't wear that much makeup one and two um, I feel like even if I did wear a lot of makeup I will not finish a full bronzer till it expires so now we're gonna blush. For blush, as always, nothing new. Uh, we'll use this Tarte Party. Alright, so blush on. Now I need some highlighter. And keep doing this is the Alfra Cosmetic Highlighter. Everglow, it's the um, the collection with Nikki Tutorials, and I am grateful for Allure Beauty Box because I would never know how much I would I love this highlighter. Let's finish up the brows. I'll go ahead and use the Sejoa Cosmetics. And is the brow something something? There's a brow down to me, and I'm just gonna use the little gel. Mm, speaking of staying at home, so because I had to stay um this week home, I ended up watching different shows, and I love watching Netflix. It's like a little guilty pleasure. I've been having trouble kind of finding something good to watch, and just because I've watched everything possible already i'm watching dark uh season three and i love the season first season and second season season three seems a little weird i think they're going a little too too deep and, and it's not even too deep i feel like they're making this it's so confusing unnecessarily confusing mm -hmm. and then we're not following the same people that we're used to i don't know i'm just i'm i think i'm on episode four or five and um i don't love it as much as i loved the first two seasons 
so i don't know i'll keep watching and i'll see how it goes um but if you haven't heard about it, dark is very interesting it is a darker show it has time traveling and has different stuff in so i'm not the best at describing a show without spoiling anything um but if you google dark on netflix it, there's different trailers you can watch trailer um it's not a kid's show definitely definitely um it is a darker show as per title and um it's not an american show either which is kind of refreshing but yeah so i've been watching that um i finished the order um on netflix as well and that's the um, second season just came out not too long ago and first season i liked much more the second season wasn't as good and it was very choppy and weird so i feel like first season had kind of storyline you knew what you were kind of going to what's about um it's going towards a you know a climax and then it ended you know here it's like every episode is a different story and it makes not much sense and it ended up like having this as a main villain and then oh this villain is no more wait there's a different part and it's just like make up your mind um yeah the story was all over the place so yeah, I didn't really like it. Oh, my camera battery is flashing at me. So, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I'm needing some... Something on my lips to kind of end this. And I'm going to use the Buxom. Um, I bought this not too long ago. If you've seen my vlog, uh, my recent vlog, you'll see that I hold this from Ulta and let's put it on and I bought it mostly because YouTube and if you know anything about YouTube and beauty gurus and beauty videos is they sure know how to sell you stuff and when everybody talks about the same thing you're kind of compelled in uh, buying it and I am not I'm not bad, mad at it this is everything my eyes ended up looking not like i intended it to look um yeah that eyeliner was no bueno so i'll put the blame on the eyeliner okay it's an okay fourth of july kind of look i definitely need to do my my hair so hold on a moment Okay, just a little bit of something something. Feels a little more like 4th of July now. But yeah, that is it. That is today's look. A little curl, a little bit, just a little bit. Um, a little bit of makeup. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It was nice chatting with you guys. I haven't chatted with you in a while. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are staying healthy. And yeah, I hope life is treating you well. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.